Ever wonder why it's so hard to reuse abandoned properties? Sometimes the problem is contamination. When they were in business, many industrial and commercial buildings dealt with chemicals that harm human health and the environment. Now vacant, abandoned, or underutilized, these contaminated properties are called brownfield properties or brownfields. And someone has to deal with that pollution. But who? Often the companies that cause the pollution are long gone. Cleanup costs time and money. And in communities where property values are low and vacancy is high, not many developers can or want to take on that risk. Enter land banks. A land bank is a public agency that solely focuses on addressing vacant, abandoned, and deteriorated properties. 19 states have laws that give land banks unique powers, like being able to acquire tax for coals property cost effectively, eliminate liens, clear title, and hold property tax exempt until it can be sold or reused. Today, there are over 300 land banks across the country working in places that have many more vacant properties than the local real estate market can handle. Why are land banks especially good at dealing with brownfield properties? Some of the big reasons are, land banks can be eligible for federal funding from the Environmental Protection Agency and protections from federal environmental liability. Since 2019, the EPA has provided 22 grants to land banks to support brownfield assessment, remediation, and reuse. Land banks are governed by appointed boards, so they're more insulated from political turnover and can handle complicated multi-year projects. Finally, land banks focus exclusively on returning problem properties to productive use to meet the needs of community members. Land banks can take time to prepare sites and find the right developer, not just sell them to the highest bidder. Put another way, land banks are experts in dealing with properties that are hard to reuse. This makes them a natural partner for a community that wants to do something about that former factory, closed coal mine, abandoned gas station, or even deteriorating homes filled with lead and asbestos. In fact, many land banks are working on brownfields projects already. When it comes to revitalizing communities burdened by pollution, land banks are the key to unlocking the potential of brownfields and creating a healthier, more vibrant future.